As an ear care physician, Dr. Adam Gatula covers a lot of miles. We're picking up the, the sickest of the sick uh, in the entire tri-state. Today, he's arrived at a milestone. When the vaccine became available, you didn't turn it down. Absolutely not. No, I, uh, the first day I was able to get it, I got the first dose and I got the second dose uh, this morning. Dr. Kutula is one of the very first in the region to get the second dose of the vaccine against COVID. If we're going to do everything we can to keep our patients safe, to keep our family safe, to keep our neighbors safe, uh, this vaccine is, is certainly an important part of that. Frontline healthcare workers at UC who got the first shot 21 days ago are now getting the second shot, bringing their protection against the virus to about 95%. In the first round, UC was able to vaccinate 5,175 workers. Dr. Katula says he got a slightly sore arm from the first vaccine and no repercussions from the second so far. But there has been one side effect you might not expect. The biggest side effect is just uh, new optimism and hope that, uh, you know, we're going to come together. We're going to overcome uh, COVID-19 and this is hopefully going to be something of the past. You know, while it took about three weeks to get those 5,100 plus frontline workers, the very first ones vaccinated, they think it'll take about that long to get the second round of vaccine into everyone. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Hey, Brian, does UC know how long before they start another first round of vaccines? Yeah, they're not exactly sure just yet, but they do have that information coming into them. They're hoping to get that by the end of this week. Uh, same way with St. Elizabeth. They're beginning to get rumbles about their second round of first vaccines as well, Mike. All right, Brian Hamrick live for us tonight. Thank you so much.